Remember that you are highly favored. Tell somebody next to you, say, remember that you're highly favored. Tell them, remember that you are highly favored. Esther had favor. She had favor with the king. She had favor all along. But her fear prevented her access. She had favor all along. She just didn't know it. And there are some of us in here today, you have favor. You just don't know it, and so you've never tapped into it, but it's been there all along. The fingerprints of God's unmerited favor are all over your life. Like you wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the goodness of God. But, uh, but if you really look at it, Esther not only had favor with the king, she had favor everywhere, Every, with everyone. She. The favor she had with the king seemed to spill over on everything. She had favor with the handmaiden. She had favor with the eunuch. She had favor with the chief eunuch. Like she got deals online. She went to the mall. She got the perfect parking spot. Right, the cashier at Macy's said, oh honey, let me just use my employee discount just for you. She had favor everywhere. She had favor with God and with man. But to really understand this, you've got to understand your place in the story. King Ahasuerus is a type and shadow of Jesus. Jesus, the true and greater Ahasuerus. Ahasuerus may have been the king of the Medes and the Persians, but Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Ahasuerus may hold out an earthly scepter, but Jesus holds the scepter of scepters. Ahasuerus points to Jesus. Mordecai again points to the Holy Spirit because he leads, he guides, he corrects, he warns of things to come, he imparts the wisdom of God. But Esther, Esther is the bride. Esther is a type and shadow of the church, the bride of Christ. We are Esther. And that means that not only has the Persian king held out a Persian scepter, but the king of kings has permanently extended the scepter of scepters to you. You are blessed and highly favored. You have favor wherever you go. You have favor with everyone you interact with. You are blessed with every spiritual blessing. And the King of Kings doesn't just give you up to half his kingdom. Jesus said, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The divine scepter, the holy scepter, the favor of God has been stretched out toward you. For surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with favor as with a shield. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Esther went from a nondescript orphaned Jewish girl to the queen of Persia and you have gone from lost to found to highly favored. You've gone from filthy rags to royalty. You have been translated out of the realm of darkness into the kingdom of the son of his love. You were once at enmity with God and now he calls you friend. You have been seated in the seat of the highest possible favor. You are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus and he is seated at the right hand of the Father at the place of ultimate authority and favor. The scepter has been extended towards you. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed in your basket. You're blessed in your kneading bowl. You're blessed when you come in. You're blessed when you go out. You're blessed to be a blessing. And what God blesses, no man can curse. 